So for this last video for the linear equations practice problems, I want to tackle these two problems here. And um, do I? Yeah. So uh, yes. So let's do 18 and 19. So for number 18, we have a lowest common denominator again. And that's going to be 12. But let's do this first. Let's, um, so I'm noticing that this 4 right here will be able to cancel with that 4. So if I distribute first, then all I, so that, let's watch what happens when we distribute first. Let's, so let's not jump the gun here with that lowest common denominator. You can see there's not just one way. So anyway, the left side becomes negative, is doesn't have any, we don't have anything to simplify there. But if we distribute the 4 and multiply the 4 times 1 fourth x, we just get x. And then we have a minus 4 times 4 thirds would be 16 thirds. Okay, so now I like that because our lowest common denominator is our only denominator in both sides, and that's 3. So we're just going to multiply both sides by 3. And that, I think that's probably a simpler way to do this problem. And if we distribute the 3 to negative 10 thirds, we just get negative 10 because the 3 cancels. 3 times 2x gives us 6x equals 3 times x, 3x. And then we have 3 times negative 16 thirds, so we'll put the minus there, so we don't have to worry about that. 3 cancels there, we just get 16. Okay, so that's kind of nice. And then we'll move the variable terms to the left-hand side by subtracting 3x from both sides. We'll add also 10x, or add 10 to both sides. And when we do that, those cancel. 6x minus 3x is 3x. Negative 16 and positive 10 is negative 6. So dividing both sides by 3, we get x equals negative 2. I think for the sake of the videos, I won't show, towards the end, I won't show all those little steps like dividing both sides by 3 like that. I'll, talk, I'll say it. You can pause or re rewind if you need to. Okay, let's see if we can simplify our equation here in any way before we go ahead and clear the fractions or even clear the... Oh, yeah, I guess we could do that, but... Um, yeah, let's get rid of the fractions first. Sorry, let's get rid of the parentheses first. That's what I meant to say. Let's distribute this minus sign here. And sometimes I find students see this better by if you can just insert a 1 right there. So when you have a minus sign in front of a set of parentheses, that just means just like you distribute any other number, like over here we distributed a 4, well, over here, we're distributing a negative 1 to both terms. And so all that means is that we just change the signs of each of the terms inside the set of parentheses. Negative 1 times 5 thirds x is minus 5 thirds x, or negative 5 thirds x. Negative times a negative is a positive 4 thirds. And then there's nothing that we need to do yet to the right-hand side. So getting rid of the parentheses, I think, is helpful. We could combine the negative 2 and the 4 thirds, but then we're just still dealing with fractions. So let's just recognize here that the lowest common denominator is 2 times 3, not 6. So we're just going to multiply both sides of the equation by 6, which means on the left-hand side, there's actually three terms to distribute the 6 to, and then over here on the right-hand side, there's two terms. So we could just do this just like normal. 6 times negative 2 is negative 12. Uh, 6 times negative 5 thirds, 3 will divide evenly into 3 once and divide evenly into 6 twice. So remember, that's a 2 then times 5. And we have a minus sign here. So 2 times 5x is 10x. Might want to rewind and play that again. Uh, 3 divides evenly into 3 once, divides evenly into 6 twice. 2 times 4 is 8. If you're going to practice one problem of all of the problems that we've covered so far in these videos, this would be the one. It's got a little bit of everything in it. Uh, so anyway, back to the problem. 6 times 2 thirds x, 3 
Cancel, uh, 3 goes into 3 once, 3 goes into 6 twice, 2 times 2x is 4x, half of 6 is 3. So that, that really simplifies things and simplifying a little bit further, we're going to combine like terms on the left. And negative 12 and 8 is negative 4, so we have negative 4 minus 10x is equal to 4x plus 3. Let's go ahead and move the variable terms to the right by adding 10x to both sides. At the same time, we will move the number terms to the left by, oh, I just realized. And let's do this. Give ourselves a little space. And when the dust settles, 10x minus 10x there and 3 minus 3 there. On the right-hand side, we have 14x. On the left-hand side, we have negative 7. By dividing both sides by, by positive 14, we get x is equal to 7 over 14 is 1 half. So we have negative one half. There you go.